Jason Maxwell. I'm Deepa and together with my co-host Tia, we're going to talk uh, to Karen. She is a makeup artist since seven years. So she's, she's going to give us some tips on how to do a smoky eyes as well as different types of eyeshadows. So let's get started. And as you can see, she has done the smoky eye on us, which looks lovely. <laughs> basic of applying foundation. Um, the most important thing about foundation was knowing your undertone. So you either fall in the categories of cool undertone or warm undertone. And the way we found out was looking at your veins. Okay, so if you're blue to purple veins, you're a cool undertone. If you're green, then you're warm. If you can't tell, then you're probably neutral, which means you're a mix of both. If you can't tell, the other way that you can tell is if you burn easily or if you tan in the sun. If you burn and you go pink, then you're more a cool undertone. If you tan under the sun, then you're probably a warm undertone. Okay? The other thing we learned last week was colour correcting. So basically that means trying to cover up any problem areas on your face. So for instance, if you had any redness, we used a green colour corrector to try and minimise the redness. If you had dark circles, purple or blue, we used an orange colour corrector to minimise the colouring under the eyes. And then we moved on to the very popular contouring and highlighting. So again, there was two ways to do it. We used powder or cream. With contouring and highlighting, it's up to personal choice. You can do it as um, heavy or as, as natural as you want. So again, contouring and highlighting is contouring is when we use a darker shade, two to three darker, darker than your normal um, skin colour. And contouring is basically we're trying to bring that feature backwards. So if you're trying to hide something, so whether it's trying to slim your nose, that's what contouring does, or if you're trying to um, define your cheekbones, that's what we're doing. Highlighting does the opposite, so we're bringing it forward, so we're emphasising. So for the girls that went there last week, that's what we, we covered on. And today we'll be moving on to eyeshadow. So we'll do, be doing a natural basic eyeshadow and then we'll be moving that on to a smoky look. And I'll give you tips uh, on how to do that. So for the ladies that went here last week, you do get a take home sheet as well. So everything that I covered today will be there and all four workshops are already in here. So you can kind of read ahead as well to see what we'll be covered in the following week. Okay, so today is about eyeshadow. And again, this comes down to, it's similar to knowing your face shape. You need to know your eye shape, okay? Because again, what may look good on someone else may not necessarily look good on you, and that's because of your eye shape. So this, there, there are six main eye shapes, and I have put a photo in your, in your work, um, in your take home sheet. This is this little eye chart. So obviously that's your eyebrow, Underneath you might hear people saying the brow bone or under the brow, so that, that, that's all it basically means, just under the eyebrow. You've got that crease that we talked about. If, if you ladies have got monolith eyes, you probably won't see that crease. Um, and then that's obviously the eyelid, the upper lash line, and then the lower lash line, and then your iris. Okay? So that's just a little chart to, to, to get you familiar with the eyes. All right, so starting, once you know your eye shape, today we're going to be talking about natural makeup or everyday makeup, okay? So natural everyday, this thing about makeup, it can mean anything to anyone, but natural makeup basically means using neutral colours or very earthy tone colours so that it just kind of enhances what you, what you have or, you know, you just, it's just for an everyday look. Now, if uh, you've got palettes on your tables, but I've got one here as an example. If you want to go natural, I would suggest using these types of colours. So your browns, your earthy tones. I mean, you can go a little bit on the pink side because it's quite light. Um, and also, if you want to stay natural, I would suggest doing staying in the matte side. Because once we move on to smoky, then we can do the shimmer and a little bit more um, bolder colours. So, the best way to do this to do can I get a can I get someone that I can do a demonstration on? Okay. So hopefully everyone can see me here. 
So the most important thing before we start on any eye makeup is eye primer. So similar to what we do with foundation, you need to prime your eyes. Why? Because it will give you long, longer lasting eyeshadow, it will stop everything from moving, and for those ladies who have hooded like me, it will stop the product from going on top of your eyelid, okay? So I'm going to use... I'm going to use deep as a, as a demonstration. Now the thing is you can get most, you can get a lot of eye primers out there now. It's actually overwhelming how much makeup there is. But I'll get deeper to close our eyes. And you just want to use your fingers and rub that everywhere in the eye. Actually, I'll just do one eye. Now you girls did get a brush kit as well, so you do have a few brushes there that you can use for today. So I'm going to do a natural, everyday um, eyeshadow for deeper. So I'm just going to go in and use some browns, but at least this will give you an idea of what, um, what, a, what a natural makeup looks like. So I'll go in and just use this brown and I'll put it all over her lid. For the eye, eyelid, you want to kind of put a lighter colour there to kind of open up the eyes. So, I'll just use. And the fun thing about makeup is you can you just play around. So you, you can do you can do a padding motion, you can do a sweeping motion. There's really there's really no right or wrong. So whatever's comfortable for you. Now the important thing with um, eye makeup is you need a good brush for blending, okay? Because obviously you don't want any harsh lines, you don't want to see any kind of um, like a clumped up um, eyeshadow or anything like that. So you want to be able to blend. So a good blending brush will always be your best friend when you're doing eyeshadow. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is we're not covering it over the workshops, but it's always important to do your eyebrows as well when you've done your eye makeup. So you can either do that before or after you've applied your eyeshadow. So just close. And under the brow bone, people usually put, we usually put like a, quite a light eyeshadow just to bring up the, the brow bone. So again, I'm not, I'm not doing anything too full on here. I'm not going to smoke it out or anything. We're really just putting eyeshadow there just so we can see it open. And that's really it. So you can go as heavy, close your eyes. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. Um, again, go with your eye shape. So if you've got, another example is if you've got the prominent eyes or the protruding eyes, you want to, it's a, similar to contouring, so if you want to bring it back, we use a, a medium to dark shade. If you want to bring something forward, you want to use like a, a really light colour. So if you've got those big protruding eyes or prominent eyes, if we were to sweep that with a medium colour, immediately you would see that the eye would look smaller, okay? So I think the important thing is to know your eye shape. So you've got the palettes in front of you, so I think there should be a neutral palette and also a colourful palette. So just share that amongst yourself. So if you have a look in the kit, you should have colour you want to use. But if you do want to enhance your natural eye colour, again, there's another colour chart on your take-home sheet. So I'll give you an example. If you've got blue eyes, go onto the chart and go right across it and you'll see that orange and yellows are what complement blue eyes. So that's if you've got blue eyes, that's the kind of colours you want to use to make your your eyes even pop even more. Um, I think most people have brown eyes here. So if you've got brown eyes, again go to the chart and you'll see right across it the blue, the blue kind of colours, the bluey green will make our eyes pop. 
Now, don't be afraid. You might be like, oh, I've got brown eyes and I'm not going to walk around with blue, blue um, eyeshadow. But again, I think if, if that's, that's the colour you want to use if you do want to make your, your brown eyes stand out more. Now, if you don't want to use eyeshadow, there's also these um, eyeliner pencils. So if you want to go a little bit more subtle, but you do want that blue, or you want that purple, you want that green, instead of using a black or a white eyeliner, you can use a blue, a green, a purple, all the colors are available out there. Okay. Now, if you do do the smoky, again, people kind of step out of this um, boundary, but you kind of want to use the three shades in the same, three hues from the same shade. So if you're going to go the browns, stick to the browns. You're obviously going to use a light brown and a dark brown. If you're using blues, you're going to use three different blues. But again, nowadays if you look at Instagram, people are mixing colours. They've got blue up here, but then they've, they've got a green eyeliner. So that's the fun thing about um, smoky eyes. Oh, it's actually great for beginners. So if you have never done a smoky and you want to kind of get a guide, Sticky tape's the way to go. So just grab a little piece. And what you're doing is, just look straight. We're going to place this on the corner of the eye. Just like that. Okay? So it's kind of creating a V. V. From her from her, the tip of her eyebrow down to the corner of her eye. It's creating the gold. I'm gonna go ahead and still use the browns, but I'm gonna smoke it out. So I'm actually going to use this colour here. Now it's important to always tap off any excess because you don't want that falling onto your face. Now another tip is, as a makeup artist, what I usually do is I actually do the eyes first before I apply foundation because what you do find that if, you, if you're not tapping the excess off, it is going to fall here. And if you've already applied foundation, and you're going to have a hard time wiping that off. So for me personally, everyone's different, but I actually like doing the eyeshadow first before everything else. So the magic tape, tip, trick, close. Can everyone see that? I've just created like a V. When I take off the sticky tape, you'll be able to see it more, but... Mm -hmm. I'll get um, something else to close. And we're going to blend that. Blending softens any harsh lines and it just creates the flow of all the other colours that you've used, okay? Another tip as well is that stick tape is actually good if you're a beginner. We're going to cover it for next week, but that's actually good if you're a beginner for eyeliner. So that will create, um, that, that acts as a guide for where your eyeliner will go. But we'll do that next week. to take this off, which I will do now, you should see there is quite a sharp line, okay? Now, I'm not going to, obviously, you would, if it's gone too far, if it's gone too far, then you just go, you just get a tissue or your foundation brush and just wipe it off. But can everyone see that sharp line? And what I would do as well is just go in and blend it again. Now, if you find, you look at that and you say, no, that's too, that's too defined, that's too much of a sharp line, I'll use someone else as an example. We can do it another way. So mm -hmm. if Danielle just says that. So if you picture it, when you're looking in the mirror, 
throw, you're just you're creating a V, okay? You're creating a V. So you're bouncing it off from the corner of the eye, going up towards the brow bone, and taking that back in. And the other tip is always start with a little product because if you put too much, it's harder to take away, but it's always easier to add. So always add, always start with a little bit of product. Now I'm going back in again and blending that. Now when you're creating the V, you don't want to go too too far in. You want to only go about halfway on, um, on, onto your eye because once you start to go here and, and you're putting a dark colour, it's just going to make your eyes look smaller. And what we're trying to create is we're trying to elongate your eyes and make them look longer um, going outwards. Open. So if you see there, it's not as a defined line like Danielle has. It's still smoky, still created that V, but it's a lot more softer. Okay? Um, I'm just going to stop there when I turn to pick up. Now the key is, so obviously the colours you've used up here, you want to bring it down to your lower lash line. And if you want to make that even more smoky, you can go in with a black. And with the black, it's up to you. You can go right across or you can stop halfway. Is your eyes watering? Yeah, it's okay. It's alright? Yeah. And you can see. So that you're just you're just creating more of a smoky on the bottom too. Because if you leave that bottom bit, if there's nothing there, you're not you're not really it's not gonna it's gonna look quite funny. So mm -hmm. when you're creating a smoke, you're obviously going bold. So you have to take those colours down to the lower part of your eye as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you wanna go even more smoky. See what I mean by tapping the excess off because I can see a lot of this in my face. That's alright. That's good. Yeah. So there you go. 